Hi everyone, it's Marianne. Welcome to my Wasteless Life. In this video, I'll be sharing with you a year in the life of my Thai constellation, Monstera. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new, this is my Wasteless Life, where I take you along my plant and sustainable lifestyle journey and share with you some of my tips and tricks along the way. So about this time last year, I imported a Thai constellation Monstera from Thailand. And I've been documenting the plant growth ever since the day that I've got it. And no, this is not the same Thai constellation Monstera that I got from Costa Farms very recently. If you haven't seen my vlog of how I won a Thai constellation Monstera from Costa Farms, I'll link it up here and down in the description. And I'm also documenting the growth of that plant as well, which you would see next year before Costa Farms drop the Thai constellation Monstera in big box stores. But today I'll be sharing with you a year in the life of my Thai constellation Monstera, and it's been quite a year, so let's roll the clips. The last, but definitely not the least, the very reason that I ordered plants from Thailand is this one, and probably the most expensive. This cost me $80. And it's the Thai constellation Monstera. Oh my god, it's actually a lot larger than I thought. There are like yellowing leaves already, I can tell. But it's fine, we could rehab that. But, oh, look at this. And look at this. And look at this. Oh my god, I have, I am now an owner of the Thai constellation Monstera. I, I have to let it sink in. I have to let it sink in. Look, I have a Thai constellation Monstera now. Oh my god, I'm so happy. You don't know how happy I am. So right now I'm just going to be checking the roots and putting them in water. And then tomorrow I will transfer them to Leica. It's a little bit late to do it now. But I will transfer them to Leica tomorrow or maybe in a couple days. I just want to make sure they kind of recover from the trip that they took from Thailand to here to Maryland. And last but not the least, the Thai constellation Monstera. Um, so this one has some yellowing leaves already or leaves that start to yellow but no dead leaves. Which is awesome. So that is a very good sign. So I see already some rotted roots, some healthy roots, and some rotted ones. So this one is kind of like the Syndapsis trubii, as you can see. So I need to rehab this real quick, cut off the dead roots, and then make sure to put it in water. And then tomorrow I'll probably put it in like a... But I don't know, I think I'm going to keep it in water for a while, let it grow some roots. But yeah, so that is the Thycosolation Monstera. So let me go wash the roots and then let me put it in water. So I thoroughly washed the leaves and I have a hydrogen peroxide solution over here. And I'm just going to spray the roots. And I place this three in water and they're in pH 6 filtered water. Uh, yeah, and then maybe in a few days, I would pot them up in Leica. It's almost a week since I got my Mustera, and here's an update on it. So kind of like the very next day, I put it in Leica, and it stayed in Leica up until this morning. And I took it out of Leica because I know Leica has a adjustment period i experienced it with my pothos but the thing is the root rot keeps climbing and climbing and climbing i did put cinnamon on the root to act as an antibacterial antifungal but it still didn't help and i'm gonna get rooting hormone tomorrow but i watched jimmy's um legend of monsteras videos on propagating monstera sp specifically variegated monstera and what he said is to let the roots callus after I washed it with soap and cut it and cut off all the um, root rot. So that is what I'm doing right now. I am going to let it callus overnight and hopefully that would help. I don't know if you could see but I had to cut a significant amount of the roots. It came with a lot of root rot and 
I had to cut off like almost everything completely and then it keeps climbing out so I keep cutting uh, so I'm gonna follow Jimmy's advice and let it callous overnight and then tomorrow after I get the rooting hormone I'm gonna put it in water I'm not gonna put it back in LECA and once it has grown a significant amount of fruits I would put it in LECA and then after that I would decide if I want to transfer it to soil or not but here are the leaves and I know I'm about to lose one of them like this one because it's starting to yellow but I'm just gonna let it completely yellow before I cut it off I might also lose this one but this is this too is the one that I'm paying attention to because this too needs to survive until it grows enough roots because especially this one because this is the stem that would produce new growth like it has started to push new growth already but I know it's not gonna happen anytime soon but I can see the budding starts of it over here um, because it is going to be busy growing roots I don't think it's gonna push out that growth anytime soon but I hope it kind of does before um, the end of the growing season I have about a month to get this to root but as Jimmy said except uh, I have to expect that it would probably rot a couple more times especially when i transition it to leka and then leka to perhaps soil so we will see but my goal is really to just make sure to stop the root rot and let it grow roots as you can see it only has three leaves now this is the other one i cut it off and this is the other one it's yellowing but i'm keeping it this one was doing okay so this one is kind of like the best leaf right now but i left this outside last night thinking it'll be okay because it's 70 degrees but when i woke up the stem over here has already some rotting so hopefully that would stop i cut it off hopefully it will heal and so this is kind of like the main stem this one but it also started getting this i hope it's just a leaf burn and it won't spread and this one is also kind of like getting mushy and this spot disappeared so idk have a plant ever made you cry because this one is making me cry here it is showing like a sign of new growth but honestly i don't know if it will actually come because the root system is really bad like I had to take out most of the roots because of root rot and this one like the brown part there I don't know if it's also starting to rot I don't know if I should cut it but I'm seeing some signs of like root growth like you see those two white dots over there and there's another like white dot over here so hopefully and I took it out of the water I stuck it into this dry moss for now and I at this point i really don't know what to do and i remembered to bring in the plant this time but i remember from yesterday that there was rotting on this stem so it kind of like weakened the structural integrity of this so this one was like pretty much flopping down so i have to stick it up to support it up um, I think it has calloused. Hopefully it will stay that way, but I feel like over here, I don't know if you could see it. It might be continuing to rot. I don't know, but I don't really want to lose this leaf because this is the leaf that has the fenestrations and still looks perfect compared to the other leaves. So... A bit of a bad news so i might have updated in my previous update that this one the stem had rotten off and it already come to this point so i think it's best to just cut it off and let it go but i'm so scared because if i cut this one i probably have to cut this one too and I'll be left with this leaf and that's it the rotting has stopped though which is good and like I said there is like new growth possibly coming in here 
but oh my god so as you can see this one i had to finally cut it off because it rotted off the stem um over here i was kind of hoping to preserve it because it's the best looking leaf but it gave out if you recall or i don't know if i have footage of it i initially had this propagating in water but it rotted off the stem of this one and the other one i already cut off already because it was yellowing when the plant arrived to me so i knew that would definitely go and i knew the other damaged leaf would definitely go which is this one so this is what's left of it i've been cutting off the yellowing leaves and i didn't want to cut it out until it also just rotted off the stem but so this is the only good leaf left and this one i'm gonna enjoy and take tons of pictures of to at least have a memory that i have this just in case this die constellation um monstera just completely die on me but i am confident that it will survive because now it only has one leaf and it should be able to support itself now and it has the new growth still trying to come in although nothing has really happened yet but it is coming in the roots there's no more rotting in the roots and i've seen signs of possible places of new root growth although no new root has come in yet and this one has stopped and this one has stopped so yeah so hopefully they would kind of recover before um winter really really starts but at this point i'm already at the acceptance stage of the grieving process when it comes to this die constellation monstera but i am confident that this one would survive it will take a while i'm sorry to lose th this leaf but I'm, like I said, I'm gonna treasure it and try to make it last as long as I can. I have it in vitamin water, so hopefully it will last a little bit longer before it dies out. And I'm gonna take tons of pictures of it. As you can see, I finally took out this leaf. So this leaf now is the last one standing. There is still no significant root growth yet or any root growth at all actually, but there's no more root rot. I just remoistened the moss and wrapped it up again, essentially repotting it. But yeah, and this has been sitting on my south facing window along with my other plants next to the humidifier. So I just really hoping for root growth before the end of the growing season. And hopefully this new growth to at least come in over here, but we will see. I mean, like I said in the previous update, I'm already at the acceptance stage. And oh yeah, by the way, I broke the leaf because a bug was on here. I flicked it off and it broke the leaf. So yeah, there's that too. Um, but yeah. In the arms of the angel, come away with me. In the So I'm happy to report that I haven't really had any problems since. I've been trying to be very careful and vigilant with this one. And as you can see, there's a new root growth over here that I'm pretty sure is well down. I haven't removed it out of the moss. I just don't want to disturb it anymore. And as you can see over here, there's a new root growth point. I'm hoping that it would grow a separate leaf at some point like a separate branch but so far all i'm asking and what i'm grateful for is it is starting to pop up a new leaf as you can see there it's more prominent now than it has ever been so i think the roots has grown enough that it is telling the plant it's okay to push out a new leaf that it could support it so i'm happy with that and hopefully this root comes out before this fully comes up so that it would survive a little bit longer because i can see just by the stem alone that it's going to have a lot of white variegation so meaning it won't have a lot of chlorophyll to support itself so i'm hoping that it will have a lot more roots so that it could very well keep up and as far as the main leaf he is doing okay no yellowing thank god it's just a lot of like this but very slowly it's happening in the white part but no more mishaps no more any crazy thing that's going on so i am very happy with this but as you can see it's leaning 
like this way. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just because of the direction of the light. I keep it on the heat mat for most of the time. It has a grow light above it, but I'm also putting it by the window, my south facing window, when we have really warm days like we've been having the past couple of days. As you can see, the new growth is really coming out now. And the leaves are, it's hard to tell, but it's, I think it will have a lot of green this time, which is great because I really need it for it for photosynthesis and everything. And I know there's a capability of having a lot of white variegation, so I'm not worried that it's not going to be as variegated. So yeah, I'm really excited and hopefully everything works out with this new growth. So yeah, so the leaf um, finally unfurled completely, but it's a little bit droopy, not sure why, but it has fully unfurled, has fenestrations, and you know what makes this an MVP? She already starting to push out new growth over here. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. You see that over there? She's already trying to push out new growth. <sighs> So this one is the OG leaf left from when the plant I got it. This is a new leaf and we have another one about to come in. Yay! Constellation Monstera definitely get a spot on the heat mat because I don't want the root system getting cold during the night because I already spent way too much money and effort in keeping this one alive. And I haven't updated in a long time, but as you can see, there's something to update now. A new leaf is coming, which is going to be the fourth leaf in this die Constellation Monstera. And it also has grown some fantastic aerial roots too and it's still in moss and i am not going to take it out of the moss until maybe the end of the growing season but yeah and the leaves are still very much intact okay so i'm going to take this out of the moss first i just recently watered this so it's wet but usually i would like it to be dry It has a lots of roots already. Very extensive. Just gently massaging it. And kind of like with my Raphidol Protector Sperma, I'd rather keep some of the moss attached than fully take them out because it will damage the roots so I'm trying my best to not pull out as many of the secondary or baby roots as much as possible that is wrapped in moss but I am trying to loosen it a little bit um, just so that it is not overly compact uh, 
but if that doesn't happen that is fine because again I don't want to disturb the root ball and the root system that much uh, and if this is the best that I can do then that is what I'm gonna go with So I think I'm done because I've damaged quite a bit of roots and I don't want to continue doing it. So this is pretty much it and I'm going to grab the soil and this is the arid soil that I got from the Victorian Atlanta and that is what I'm going to use for this Monstera Thai Constellation. But I am going to reuse some of the bark just to put it at the bottom to help with drainage. along with this aerial root that I initially was going to air layer and there you go does that look good should I do it a little bit more like that oh yeah a little bit more forward And I'm actually going to put a layer of the moss on top. And this is just so to help it retain moisture. And honestly, some type of mulching so that it doesn't dry up pretty quickly. And it also looks good.
So there you go. I have to clean it up a little bit, but that's pretty much it. So excited about this new leaf. I can see it is going to be fenestrated, which is going to be the first one among the new leaves. We're the second one. This one is tiny bit fenestrated, but I think this one is going to be fenestrated a little bit more. Today is May 7th, 2021, and my fly constellation mascara just pushed out a brand new leaf and it's the most fenestrated one so far it has three fenestrations compared to just one over here and none over here and this one is bigger than the rest of the leaves do which is awesome and i could already see it and i could already see it starting to push out another leaf over here which is awesome i think it's going to have a great growing season and i can't wait for this to grow into a larger plant what I love about this Thai Constellation Monstera is I've noticed that not only it grows a little bit faster than my regular Monstera Deliciosa, it also produced fenestrated leaves for me a lot faster. As you can see with the new growth back here, I normally actually have this facing the window so that I could get all the leaves to face in one direction. But as you can see with this latest growth, it already has one, two, three, four fenestrations on this side and three on that side and the previous one was three and one so it is producing fenestrated leaves quite quickly for me and i'm really happy about it. as you can see the leaf that unfurled last month has finally hardened and it's also facing the same way as the rest of the leaves now which is awesome and it's also starting to shoot out a new growth and I can't wait for this one to come out, see how large it is and how fenestrated it is. And if you can see from the coloring, this one looks like would have a large section of white or cream variegation. I think it's trying to show up because it realized that there's a new thigh constellation in town, the one that I want from Casa Farms. But so it's trying to like secure its pot. But it wouldn't be. I would definitely use it for treats and giveaways but I'm not gonna give away this plant or give up on this plant completely like I'm still gonna keep it morning baby morning today is Monday August 23 and just quick update on the Thicon Monstera that I got from Thailand so as you can see, I put it in this corner. Probably not going to be a permanent situation for this, although it looks great. But I know the leaves will start to turn towards the window. Kind of like what's happening with my Singonium Albo and Monstera Adens Sonai. And I kind of like want to keep it all facing the same way. And the way I do that is have the plant face the window pretty much all day. It's only facing this way or facing me when I am filming. But anyway, so right now I'm trying to water it. So there's still some water at the bottom that I'm trying to get it to absorb. And this is the new leaf that is still that I'm still waiting to unfurl. This one looks like it would have a lot more white in it, but I'm not trying to force it to open like I did with this one, which resulted to this there. So I'm trying to just let it unfurl on its own. But hopefully in my last and final update before this video goes up, we could see it completely unfurled and the newest leaf has finally unfurled which is this one a little bit smaller than this one but this one is more variegated as you can see with the cream variegation over here and over there and it also has started to produce fenestrations along the midrib so this is the very first one and i'm really excited about that because this is not even a year old and it's already producing leaves with so much fenestration. But yeah, that is the end of August update on my Thai Constellation Mastera that I imported from Thailand.
So yeah, that has been the journey of my Pi Constellation Monstera ever since the day I've gotten it. As you can see, it had a rough start, but once it finally propagated and finally established itself, it's pretty much me waiting for a new leaf to grow. And for the past month, I've been performing an experiment, essentially a TikTok hack on this plant. And I've been documenting that entire process over at my TikTok and also at Instagram Reels. So if you haven't been following me on either TikTok or Instagram, do follow me. Username is at my Oasis Life. But basically the TikTok hack claims that it, by doing this hack, you can make your monstera plant to grow faster and grow larger leaves. So I've been trying it out for the past month. And the conclusion to that experiment is, uh, it didn't really work out for me. And if you look at the comments in my TikTok and Instagram real videos, people are pretty much divided on that hack. For some people it worked, for some people it caused their plant to rot. And for me, I'm kind of in the middle. Nothing really bad happened to my plant, but nothing really good happened to my plant. Like I didn't really see any faster growth, whether it's with the roots or with the leaves of my monstera plant. But essentially, the only thing that happened after a month of doing that experiment is on the root growth over here, you could see two new growth points happening at the base of the root. And also over here, there's also another root popping out, which is are the secondary roots. And with this one, what happened was I did break it off accidentally and I thought the root would just heal itself and continue to grow. But what happened was it just started to rot. So I just completely cut it out and let it callous. And after that, I didn't put it back in water anymore. But as you can see, the secondary roots are still trying to grow. And I could also see another root growth starting to come up here. And as far as a new leaf, it does have a new leaf popping out, but this has been a month since I tried out this experiment and nothing has really changed or became faster with this plant. This leaf growth is pretty much natural or the natural pace of growth of this plant. In my last update about this experiment in my TikTok and Instagram, I was going to see which of my two Psy Constellation Mysteria, this one or the one the Costa Farms would produce a new leaf faster. The one that I had from Costa Farms actually already produced a new leaf. And this one is still barely starting, but they started to push out this new growth around the same time. So the hack didn't really help me as much, but then it also didn't do anything terrible to my plant. So you can try it out if you want to, but I just suggest monitoring your plant very closely when you do, because you don't want anything bad happening to your plant. And I did get a comment in one of those videos saying that my plant needs to be repotted. And I said, well, it doesn't really need repotting because a monstera plant is an epiphytic plant. What it really needs at this point is a support, which is true. But then I realized for me to provide a support for this one, I essentially do have to repot it. So I think I'm going to do that now. And I might actually also start to propagate this. If you watch my how I won a Thai Constellation Monstera from Costa Farms, I did say towards the end there that I am going to be propagating this plant for trades and also for a giveaway next spring. I think I can get a head start on the trading part by cutting the top leaf and then letting the bottom one propagate so that it could have a new growth that I could use for a giveaway come next spring, next summer. So I'm gonna do that today. And if I'm successful in trading this out for a Monstera elbow, I would definitely include that clip after I show you how I propagated slash repotted this Thai Constellation Monstera. If not, then I probably didn't successfully trade this out. So I'm just gonna be keeping the plant until I do. I'm not selling it at all because like I said, you'll soon get this at your big box stores very soon. Costa Farm says fall 2022, maybe 2023, but just to give back to the plant community who've been wanting a Thai Constellation Monstera for so long, I do want to start propagating this so I could do a giveaway over here on YouTube and maybe also over a TikTok and Instagram for a cutting or a propagation or even a small plant of a Thai Constellation Monstera. Of course, this all depends on how fast the plant grows and how I successfully propagate it. So cross fingers for both you and me that I do successfully propagate this plant and this doesn't die in the process of me trying to chop it up and repot this. But yeah. Okay, so we're outside, excuse any background noise. And I think I did say that I was gonna propagate this slash repot this, take this up. But we'll actually see what's going on with the roof before I actually do anything to it. 
I might just end up repotting it and giving it a steak, but we will see. So I'm just going around the pot just to loosen it up out of the ceramic pot. That came out easy. You can see very root bound. So okay. Let's give it a little bit of a massage. Massage. Yeah. So if I am going to propagate this, I'm have to cut it somewhere here, I believe. The thing with this is the internodes are so close to each other that it's hard to find like a good place to cut it without losing a leaf so that's what I'm kind of concerned about that's why I'm kind of hesitant to actually propagate it now but if I want to propagate it then I should probably do it now instead of waiting next year but we will see trying to be careful to not lose as many roots as possible but So for a one year growth, this is not bad, right? This is like a lot of roots. Considering where it started, me struggling with this plant. So my first three to six months with this plant was really a trust the process kind of thing. And that's what you really have to do sometimes with your plants. Just trust the process and it will do its thing. Just give it time, be patient. Sometimes our impatience is what causes the plant to die out. Honestly, if I'm just repotting this, I don't have to do this. But since I am repotting this, I want to make sure that I got the roots off so that when I cut it off, it's easy to separate the two. Try not to lose as much roots as possible, but sometimes you can't help it. But you do have to be gentle and patient with this. So the best place that I can see to make a cutting is over here, but I might end up losing this leaf because it won't have a node or an aerial root be underneath it after I cut it. And if I try to cut above that, then I might lose this leaf and I'd rather lose this leaf than the other one. Oh, that cut off way too easily. That was scary so that is the cutting I did manage to get an aerial root um, underneath this smaller leaf but and this is for this too and this is the one with the big root ball so let me put that aside over here first then use this as a stake kind of second guessing my entire life right now. I got this one at the craft section at the dollar store. I thought it would make a good steak. <laughs> Change your plans. I am giving this another pot because this is the one that I'm going to potentially trade out and you might be thinking why aren't you trading the smaller one? Well because that one has the larger root ball which means which means eventually it would produce leaves like this again and second this one is the top cutting and I kind of want to get a Mostera Albo top cutting in exchange and if I'm going to do a giveaway in the spring that one would produce a lot smaller plants for me to propagate and give away so that's the rationale behind it and if I'm going to be trading this, give me it away, I should put it in another pot, not the nicer pot. So, okay. And I have the garden tape this time. So 
that is that one this is the one that essentially going to stay with me I'm gonna put it in a nicer pot let's trim off some dead roots I don't know if they're actually dead or just dried out because I haven't watered this in a while but either way so we are just putting all the nice roots in and try to push it forward as best as we can so see there we go oh, the joys of being left-handed and it looks like like two little leaves you have such a big pot doesn't make sense if you just look at the leaves but you see how big the root ball is you go by the root ball size when choosing a pot size not the size of the foliage that's why when someone commented um previously oh i think your monstera needs repotting it doesn't really need repotting if the root ball is just if the pot size is just the right size for the root ball so but apparently mine was already root bound so I won't be surprised if I lose a leaf here just because of my experience with the propagation as you saw at the very early part of the documentary a year in the life of my Thicon I did lose leaves so I won't be surprised if I lose leaves with this one as well I'm hoping not but at least now I know not to panic if that happens I'm just gonna let it be and this is the bigger one big one small one for trading for more propagating so this is the thigh con that i am trading for a uh, monstera alpha today and a uh, hoya polynora cutting here she is ready to go into her new home i just put it in the daily harvest box so that it wouldn't move while i'm driving okay so i just got to our meeting place i'm waiting for her i think she's still driving but here's the thigh con strapped on the passenger seat but yeah, she's about to say goodbye and about to say hello to my Mostera elbow. It's the Mostera elbow. As you can see with the new leaf, it is so white with very little green on it and it has a new growth popping in and this one as well although this part is already starting to brown which i expect from a monstera albo and then it came with this leaf which is started to yellow a little bit and i probably eventually have to cut it off but i'm not gonna cut it off because this leaf is a lot of green and i'm pretty sure this is the leaf that is currently supporting the rest of this right now that has barely any green on it and i can see with the incoming new growth it's also pretty much white so we'll see what's gonna happen and i'm really happy with this as you can see lots of healthy roots i had don't have to worry about propagating this at all not have to worry about root rot knock on wood and she said that she had hers just staying in the ikea cabinet which is what i plan to do which is why last night i cleaned out my ikea cabinet to provide some space for this one so yeah i'm really excited to have this and have an established plant even though it's a lot smaller people might think it's not an equal trade because my thigh con was a lot big but you know how much monstera albus cost these days and you know that the value of the thigh con is going down as we go closer and closer to the launch or the drop of the cost of farms fly constellation monstera although to be honest i don't really think the prices are going to drop that much because i do think cost of farms is going to sell those plants for a pretty high price not maybe as high as they have gone in the past or currently going right now but it's going to be in the low hundreds i'm pretty sure the smallest plant would cost a little over a hundred dollars to be honest until they come up with juvenile versions of the thigh constellation monstera that they could sell for like under 50 or maybe even under 20 dollars which i don't think so because even for the regular plants they are selling it for more than 20 dollars now the common plants that they have so they have increased prices themselves so i think by the time thycon drops it's not going to be as expensive but it's not going to be as cheap as people think 
it would be so I think it will still carry a good price who knows we'll never know but right now I'm really satisfied with what I got like I said yes it is a much smaller plant but I'm very happy with it and I'm very patient I can wait for this plant to grow the same way I waited for my Thicon import to grow for a year into the plant that it was while it was under my care and it has been in Ikea cabinet for I think a couple weeks now and it has produced a new leaf also very white so a little bit concerned about that but so far it's doing well I did give it the moss bowl or the craft stick that was meant for the other plant and the aerial roots that it had has started to grow into the soil too so yeah that's the elbow and if you want me to do a you're in the life for this one too for next year let me know down in comments and i'll make sure to do it so that's a year in the life of my thigh constellation monstera that i imported from thailand i will definitely continue to document and monitor the growth of my plant as well as the one that i got from costa farms and in case you didn't know this is actually the concluding episode for my Monstera series that I started out in September. If you haven't seen any of those episodes, I'll link the playlist up here and also down in the description. In that series, I talked about the popular varieties of the Monstera plant and what's in my collection. And for every plant that's in my collection, I put out a specific care and propagation guide on each one of them, which is the Monstera adansoni, Monstera siltipicana, and Mostera Stadliana. I'll link all of those down in the description. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please do subscribe. I come up with house plans and sustainable lifestyle videos every week. And if you haven't yet, check out this video up here until my next one. But until then, I see you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and each other and have a plentiful day. Bye.